Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode on Finding Griffey. Thanks for being here as we have another video of cards and coffee. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going this morning? Good. Yeah, it's been kind of a busy morning. Yeah. yeah. Last night we were at the tourist game, so it was super fun. It was a good game uh, for the tourist fans out there, which again is a double high uh, affiliate of the Houston Astros. They won like 14 to 8. Yeah. Um, they were like six home runs. It was like, you know, bomb fest. I mean, yeah. it was, um, but fun night watching minor league baseball. And we took some cards of Will Wagner to uh, let the kids see if uh, they could get autographs. And lo and behold, he's been called up to double A. So obviously did not uh, get the chance to do that. But the kids got a lot of autographs for some, uh, some of the minor league players there for the Asheville Tourists. So thanks for being here. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking us out. Hit that subscribe button and uh, the notification bell. That way you're notified when we upload these videos. We're just here having fun. We are very much amateurs at this. Yeah. But we like to laugh. We like to, I love baseball cards from way back in the day when I was chasing Griffey, hence the name Finding Griffey. And here I'm we are. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot about baseball cards. Seuss is learning a lot. And it's fun to have her along with this, uh, this journey as I learn the more modern ways of collecting. So thanks for being here. Thanks for checking this out. You've got a shirt to yeah. reveal. Okay. And I, she said I've seen this shirt, but I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. The, the meaning is... Okay. I think you, she said it had some, some meaning and some relevance here uh, coming up. So. We're going to visit family in D.C. next week, so I thought I would wear this for fun. Yeah. So next week's episode, we're probably going to be on location uh, outside of the Washington, D.C. area. Unfortunately, the Nats are not playing home <clears throat> while we're up there, so we're not going to get to catch a game. But uh, we're still going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be... Uh, Birthday celebration, just catching up with family. And yeah, so. birthday for my niece. And um, they, they're not playing because the, the uh, world, the all-star game is going on in L.A. Yes, exactly. So, I week. would say we'd go see the Orioles, but they won't be playing either. So so anyway, um, I've got an interesting fact. Okay, you go first. Um, just uh, the, there, there was a player on the team last night for the Tourist. Uh, he had two home runs, and he just was crushing the ball. Even the home runs, he, uh, the hits that he had that, that didn't go over the fence, were just absolute laser beams. He was just seeing the ball really well. Um, so it got me thinking, the number of major league players since I have been born that have hit four home runs in one game. Do you think Oh, that, you're asking Yeah, me. I'm going to ask you just a guess. The right? number of major so four home runs in the same game okay. by just one player. Uh-huh. And the player's never done it more than once. Okay. But since I've been born. Okay, so okay. It goes back to like uh, Maybe like six? Oh, that's a good guess. Okay. Eight. Okay. Yeah. It was eight, and the last one was in uh, 2017 by J.D. Martinez hmm. for the Arizona Diamondbacks. So. Okay, I have some, um, there are factual questions, but I'm going to, there are factual facts, they're facts, but facts. I'm going to ask you instead of telling people. Oh, okay. I want to see if you know the answers. Oh, Lord, the pressure. I think you will. Okay, what baseball card is the most valuable of all time? Honest Wagner. No, that's not what I found. Okay. I found Babe Ruth. Okay. Maybe, yeah, I don't oh, know. Oh, now Honest, we need to look it up. Maybe need to look it up. Honus Wagner is a very, very rare card, but um, I don't know. Cards are so valuable these days. I mean, there are cards, modern cards of players. Uh, I think of you know LeBron James. I mean, he's got cards selling for millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. The Honus Wagner I grew up was, I think, 1903 Honus Wagner, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember these. We'll look it up. We'll, we'll waste your time deliberating, but. <laughs> <laughs> so Babe Ruth, which card was it? I don't know. Oh, uh, just Babe Ruth. A card. Okay. okay. And okay. then two more other questions. Okay. What's the highest grossing baseball film of all time? Highest grossing baseball field of all time. Film, yeah. not field. Film. Okay, That's yeah, what I meant. Sorry. Um, I would say of all time. Can you give me a hint? Is it like a series? Like, a, is there like multiple movies of it? Um, it's just a singular movie. I'm gonna say The Natural. No. You want right now? Oh. Bad News Bears. No, a league of their own. Oh my gosh! Okay. It is. Okay. I know, and we showed you guys our Halloween costumes last week. That's a good. Uh, that's a good question because okay. that got me. Because I'm thinking. I think I would have said Durham, Field of Dreams. I'm thinking, yeah. You know, Field of Dreams. So uh, the Natural, I think. You know, it's kind oh of an older movie. Such a good movie. We need to watch that with the kids. It is. Okay. One it's more. got a deeper, darker, yeah. like storyline to it. That's but. true. Um, one more. Okay. Um, this is the last one. So, what major league player has? Accumulated the most awards. The most awards, mm -hmm. like as in gold glove. Yeah, Do you know what the gold stuff. glove is? Mm, sounds really cool. 
<laughs> so a gold glove is like you get for being the best player at that position. Okay. In the, in I, the that year. may be one of those awards. It's an award. Okay. Uh, like Cy Young Award. Do you know what that is? No, I don't know these Well, things. you're asking me. <laughs> it's the best pitcher in the, the, okay. the league. Uh, um, okay. Yeah. MVP. So all these awards. Yeah. Okay. So is it a current player or? What do you? Is your question There's about? No hint. No. <laughs> Of all time. <laughs> okay, of all time. Most player with the most awards of all time. That's a tough question. Mickey Mantle. It said Barry Bonds. Oh, okay. Is that right, you think? I don't know. Okay, the internet's right. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Bonds. Okay. I mean, he, he was a solid player and hit a ton of home runs and was a good defensive player, so... Oh. Maybe I would have to see that. Y'all, y'all I would like to see, see, are wrong. see the source of that information. Is it BarryBonds.com? No. <laughs> just... Oh, that's cool. That's that's those are good questions. That Thanks. makes me think. I want to okay. I want to look more into that. So let us know what you guys think, legit or not legit. The you know Barry Bonds. I mean, I, he got a lot of awards. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, oh, I don't know. That's okay. interesting because there's so many awards. Yeah. So anyway. Um, I got one more question. Do you know what a when we talk baseball cards? This is to educate some people that are probably very new to or very new to the channel or baseball cards in the modern era. Um, what does a baseball card parallel mean? Parallel. Okay. Is it like when they're turned the opposite way? Okay. Well, a lot of times, so you know that it's parallel. It is turned the opposite. I'm just going to show some folks. I'm just glad that you didn't ask me what the Mendoza line was. The Mendoza, <laughs> she still doesn't know what the Mendoza line is. Um, so parallel, I just pulled uh, you know, a base card of Vlad Guerrero Jr. from last year um, for you to look at. That's the base card. That's called a base card. So just the base. Mm-hmm. It's like a paper base card, just the regular card. That's all I collected in 1989. They didn't have like parallels and numbered cards. So a parallel would be the exact same card but it just looks different. Like, say it's got the... the, sh- the yeah, more refractor. So so that's more of a parallel to that base card. So it's the same card, in a way. He's doing the same thing, same photo, etc. So that's what a parallel okay. is. Parallel is kind of like this. And the, yeah. this one's more... Which one's more valuable? These are more... The parallels are more rare. Yeah. Base cards are... Okay. Rare. So, all right. Well, thanks for being here. Today, we're going to... It's going to be a two-part series. Uh, I've got two hobby boxes of Topps Series 2 for 2022. We're only going to open one of these, but we're going to do half of it today. And then we're next week when, when we're in D.C., we're going to do the other half. So there'll be a part one and part two just for out of respect for people's time. And mm-hmm. there's 24 packs in here. It could take us a while. We like having fun doing this conversation. So we don't want to take into, um, you know take up so much time doing a whole box today because yep. we also want to do our upper deck. Um, so... Pick a box. We're going to turn the camera around, and then we're going to rip into half of these, 12, okay. 6 each. We'll see this box, but we didn't do our personal question, but that's okay. Oh, what's the personal question? You got it. While, while I'm organizing this, you tell me. Um, or do you want to talk about it while we... We uh, can do that. Okay. So we're going to turn the camera around. We're going to open this box, half of it. So six cards, or six packs each, and we're also going to talk about our personal questions. So you guys can know us. All right. We're going to talk... Anyway, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna look up uh, most awarded face on there. All right, so we have the camera turned around. We're going to do half this box, and you pick which upper deck card back pack you want. Okay. And I'll get mm-hmm. going. And while I kind of organize this, if you want to start with your personal question. Oh, I have to start. Uh, sure. Okay, this is a really funny question. You know how in the 80s, or, I, mean, I don't know, but you know our moms had purses, a big purse. Was your mom's purse always like so heavy, just full of stuff? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Cigarettes. Yeah, I was just going to yeah. ask, like, do you remember what was in your mom's purse as a kid? Uh, just her little purse with money and cigarettes. I don't know what else. <laughs> this is a random Sorry, question. Sorry, Mom. I'm throwing you under the bus. That was a random question. <laughs> well, people died by swimming in the 80s. I know. My mom would send me into the convenience store to buy. Um, which stack of these do you want? You get to pick one um, of these stacks. That stack. Okay. That's, okay, sorry. I had, I had another. That question is so random. I was just thinking about it because my purse was so heavy last night. Um, anyway, my, my mom was mostly like lipstick, checkbook, visine. Yeah. A brush. I, don't, I don't remember. I didn't get into my mom's purse that much, so I don't. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, my gosh, I don't my know. mom's purse is so heavy. Um, 
Okay, the other question was, where did you, where did you, where did you guys vacation when you were little? Where did you go for vacation? Uh, we didn't do a lot of vacation, but the beach, yeah, I think, was I kind of the way. Yeah, we're, we were Myrtle Beach kids. Yeah, Myrtle those. Beach, definitely. Yeah. Uh, ocean lakes, yeah, campground, for sure. that kind of thing. So, um, all right, so we've got it turned around. We've got Suzanne's got a stack. I've got a stack. Um, we're going to get into ripping this, and I'm going to come up with my personal question. Um, if you were to cook one food, what would be the food that you would cook for yourself? Like I if I were at home by myself just cooking I, food? Yeah, like if you, you want to make the best dish for yourself and share Nobody it. else is eating Well, you could share with others, but oh. like your favorite dish to cook. I know. She's a great cook, by the way. Uh, I'm a very healthy cook. Ugh, that's very hard. Tough question. While you're doing that, I'm going to open this... Oh yeah, so what is that? We're gonna hold this one off. We're gonna okay. do that one at the end. So, um, I think if I was by myself, I'd probably make some sort of like Indian dish. But I think if you were eating with me, I probably wouldn't make that because you don't like spicy. So. Yeah, so an Indian dish. Okay. All right. I like cooking a good old steak. I know he makes the best steaks. I love, I love good old meat and potatoes type type okay. steak. So, so these look familiar. This is series two. I have not opened series two. I've kind of been a holdout, but I think uh, people, it's growing on some folks. Looks very similar to series one, but you'll notice uh, the numbers are higher. So uh, I think it's like three, three sixty and above. So series one was like the first batch of cards. Uh, series two comes out, and then there'll be an update series that uh, for folks that get called up to the majors and, and others that have not been featured. So we're looking for parallels. We're looking for there's some short print cards in here that we're looking for. Some rookies, some veterans. Uh, King Griffey Jr. has a short print in here that we'd love to. I'd love to find. So. We're just going to look through and just kind of, just, I haven't opened any of these to my knowledge. I don't think I've opened any of these. Maybe one pack, but. Um, where's the, um, is it, okay. Where's the Tops headquarters? Uh, Tops headquarters, I want to say is in New York or Pennsylvania. I can't remember. I don't even know. That's a good question. So we have a Derek Jeter, 1990s, uh, 1987 wood grain uh, 35 year anniversary all-star card so this is just a little bit of a review we're just looking for some rookies and uh short print so all right new york is uh was the answer is that what you've determined i googled it googled it and we did uh we did learn that uh between the mvps and cy young awards Susanna was correct it was barry bonds with seven mm -hmm. not that he won a cy young award because he wasn't a pitcher but some of the other people did yeah, Jorge Lopez. So an upside down card would 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 say not an upside down, but turn backwards. So it would be more of a short print. Look out for an autograph or something. So you kind of know. Mm -hmm. Usually in this section, there's a Bryce Harper and a Milwaukee Brewers team card. Oh, I like Bryce Harper. I think when I first started like watching the Nats and paying attention. He was like a big deal, so yeah. she sort of like sticks it's a cool in my memory. Postseason passion, Oh, that's um, awesome. Danny Swanson and Ellie Allen. Is he still playing for the Braves? He is. Okay. Yeah, they both are. All, All right. right. So it's uh, you know again I don't I haven't made a determination. It sounds like feels like there's a relic in here. I think I may have picked the stack with the relic or you can you're guaranteed an auto or a relic. I think I just oh because it's thick. This one feels thicker. I don't hmm. know. Maybe there's an extra card. I don't know. It's not a relic, but for some reason it feels thicker than. Than normal. There's a Yanni Hernandez rookie card. Gary Sanchez, Will Myers. Who would you think right now is like one of the just like the top top player? I love. Well, I mean, there's in this, in this. So we have a short oh, print. So okay. this is one of the top cards to look at. It's a okay. short print of Spencer Torkelson. Torkelson. Hmm. So that's a a good hit. That's I'm gonna sleeve that one. And okay. that's this is a guy you're, we're looking for. This is his rookie card. He was not in Series 1, and he wasn't going to be in Series 2, but they added him kind of late in, as a short print. Um, he is number, I think there's 660 cards in the set, and he's number 658. Mm -hmm. uh, they kind of added him at the end. So this is a short print of Spencer Torkelson. So I'm in the lead so far. I'm going to leave that one up when I go through this. Um, but I think you know, he's a good card. The I'm, I'm a big fan of... Um, O'Neill Cruz, I think uh, he's in this set as a rookie, and I will show the, the folks. This is a card mm -hmm. I did just pick up. It's a Diamond Kings O'Neill Cruz autograph. It's numbered out of seventy-five. I had to I had to pick this card up because I, I really like this kid a lot. So I'm sharing that one. That's not a Topps product, but I mean, what about um, uh, Mike Trout? 
Yeah, Mike Trout, his rookie was in uh, update in 2011, so he's... He's kind of older now. Yeah, he's older, but he's still, you know, considered maybe the best player. Um, and, and and along with Shohei Otani, he's mm-hmm. the pitcher, well, along with... Uh, and plays on the same team with Mike Trout, which is unfortunate. They have two of the best players maybe in the league. And Sean Boz, that's a good rookie card. Hold that one out. Let's sleeve him up. And... Uh, but unfortunately, they don't have much support. And, From the rest of the team? Well, I mean, they're just not very good yeah. as a team. Hmm. There's Aaron Hicks. I thought that said Aaron Judge, but Aaron Hicks. That's a cool card. Yeah, I want to go to Fenway Park. That would be a fun. Okay. I'm going to set my little Spencer Torkelson up there. I got these new little things. I ordered these little stands. You can't. You don't, you don't put yours up there too. Well, no, you can't. This is that you can't see it that well in the uh, frame. There we it's go. Better, yeah. You can put your uh, Sean, Shane Boz. Sure. All right. Um, so, so yeah. So we're doing six car- six packs each, just out of uh, respect for folks' time, and we're going to do those uh, that silver pack as well. I'm going to put your Shane Boz there because that's probably your best card so far. Um, but yeah, the short prints are the ones to look for. I would love to find a Griffey short print. I think it's a super short print in here. It's a, it'd be a cool card. Any of the veterans, I would love to to, to find in a short print as well. Um, Julio Rodriguez is a good card in here. Austin Hayes. So we have a Brooks Robinson die cut. Um, it's not a numbered one. Sixto Sanchez, Pablo Lopez, Joe Adele, and uh, not much there, so. But yeah, O'Neill Cruz. I think we'd. Love, I'd love to find O'Neill Cruz in this. Uh, and there's, you know, the Mojo packs, that silver pack. I'll let you open that since okay. I think you're gonna have some. Uh, I'm feeling there's no O'Neill Cruz here. Oh, look at him. Yeah, nope. yeah that's. Uh, so yeah, O'Neill Cruz. That's his rookie card from the, the base version. If we found him in a parallel, that'd be fantastic as well. Oh, look, that card has a little bit of a. Oh, look, two in a row. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Just the coalition, the machine just messed up. You got a silver card. So probably not numbered, but uh, Tanner Houck. And then you have an insert card behind it. Uh, those are fun. I love, they've, they've added these as Sweet Shades. Andrew McCutcheon. Isn't that cool? Cool. Uh, I'm going to hold that card. I'm going to look at that one a little more. These are, uh, yeah, a lot of folks are uh, collecting these and, you know, they're just really, it's really kind of a neat, uh, a neat look into the life of baseball players having fun with their sweet shades. I saw a lot of the kids at the game last night um, look like baseball players. They're probably 14 years old, and they were all wearing their oh, what yeah. are those things? Those glasses Viper called something. Viper Pit Vipers pit or something. Vipers, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can hit any other good cards out of here. It's Francis. I, I just I love this kid. He's he's playing really well. I, I call him a kid because he's like 20. Two years old, probably. Um, but he, uh, in series one, uh, there's a card where he's smiling and he just has, I think he's with uh, maybe Jazz Chisholm. I can't remember who it was he's with. I just love the kid's smile. It's like he's Aww. always smiling in every picture he has. So, anyway, Tucker Davidson, Jordan Montgomery, Ryan Feltner. So, he looks like we have a numbered card out of just a gold out of 2022. This is Stephen Piscotti, the Oakland Ace. Uh, that's a numbered card. Um, there, and Kevin Smith, and Jonathan Villar. Oh. Hope everyone's having a good day today, this Saturday. Thanks again for joining us. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It, uh, and let us know what you think about Series 2. Uh, it's kind of growing on me, but I haven't found it in retail. I did buy these two hobby boxes, and uh, just because uh, I wanted to see what, um, what it was all about. Mm-hmm. Let's search for these short prints. Vlad Gutierrez, Elias Diaz, overarching battery. So we just have some really no even inserts. That's just a pack of base cards. So. Mm-hmm. All right, down to two packs each. And but yeah, let us know what you think about series two. And if you want to see it more, we're going to definitely do it next weekend. We may have some. Uh, we may have some guests. guests. We may have some special guests. I think Greg would really like to do it. Let him uh, see if uh, they can throw in some uh, some pack magic. Well, he grew up playing baseball, so he may have some memories of his own baseball collection on his yeah. card. Yeah, Kilbadoo, Silver. 
Wiley or Willie Adam, Adams. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Jonathan Diaz, Evan White, and Jose Urena. Hmm. All right. So, yeah, we'll have uh, some special guests. We'll be uh, we're flying up and we'll have to pack these securely and yeah. uh, we may do two videos on location this okay. coming week i may do a throwback thursday mm. oh that'd be there. so fun just I have to call greg and see what his favorite uh, okay, throwback yeah. packs were yeah yeah back in the day all us 80s kids of the 80s kids of the 80s and then you have an all-star of joy Votto. and then that's a francisco rendor Joey Voigt, dug out congratulations. So mm -hmm. Those are kind of cool watching that. It's always fun to congratulate somebody that just dropped a bomb. Is there any kind of um, speculation about who is going to be in the World Series this year? Who do people think? Um, you know, I mean, Dodgers, I think, are, you know, favored. We got the Yankees, you got the uh, uh, Red Sox, mm. Toronto. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I mean it's kind of still up in the air. Oh, the no, Mets, the Mets are having a good year. The Braves are coming on strong. So speaking of the Braves, we got Dansby Swanson. Um, they're playing well. Contreras, Jonathan India. We need to get down there. That would be fun. Yeah, it would be fun. So that's another pack of base cards as well. So nothing, nothing there. So uh, so yeah, it's um, uh, we're about halfway through the season, and that's indicative of the uh, the All Star Game and. I think um, it's um, but uh, and everyone's talking about the home run derby. Oh, and, split. What do you think? It's doing like a whole split. Oh yeah, first baseman. Um. So, so yeah, it's yeah, kind of the some of the normal teams. The Yankees, they're way up in their division. Um, you got the Red Sox behind them. You got the Twins are playing well. The Astros. I hmm. um, forgot about the Astros. And then the Mets, the Brewers, Dodgers are kind of the... Uh, so I think um, you got the O'Neill Cruz and Shane Boz. I got the Spencer Tolkerson um, short print. That card may be probably the most valuable. I, I just don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to look that up while you open that silver pack. Um, so this is going to be the Mojo pack. Um, and it's uh, you're gonna find these. These are cool looking cards. Um, let me know what you think of these. So, so yeah, the Spencer Torkelson. Some of these are listed for 100 bucks, 190 bucks, 150 bucks on eBay. So, wow. so that probably as far as value goes. So let's see if we have any hits here. Brandon Crawford, Dylan Carlson. I love these cards. These are so mm -hmm. beautiful. First, have Josh Bell for the, and then Ernie Banks. So really nothing there. Mm. So, in the home run challenge. Speaking of home run challenge, this is, uh, you know, you have the pick the game card, folks. Uh, this is what these cards look like. I, I picked a Mookie Betts. Actually, Christopher picked, uh, picked the, that he would hit a home run on a certain day, and he did. And uh, so, this came in the mail yesterday. This is what these look like. They, they're kind of cheap looking, in my opinion. But this is a numbered card, 473 out of 627. I don't know if you can see that. So, that's what it looks like. It does say, congratulations, you have received a special prize for the 2022 Tops Home Run Challenge. You're cor you correctly predicted Mookie Betts would hit a home run in May. Well, we had to pick a certain day. That's, I don't know. That's interesting that it says that. All right, let's do the packs of Upper Deck. Let's yeah, see if we can find Griffey. Um, sent out the giveaway packs the other day, and um, uh, I told them that uh, out of this box that we've got pulling, we're pulling these packs out of, um, a Griffey hasn't been pulled. I think this was a different box that I pulled from on these. So it'll be interesting to see if any of those guys pull a Griffey. So oh, yeah. they gotta let you know. They gotta let me know. Are you gonna do something exciting when you reach one hundred? I am. We're gonna. Yep. Yeah. So stay tuned. We're gonna do a hundred subscriber giveaway um, coming up soon. We're just a few people short. No Griffey there. Looks like may a bad it corner. include a shirt? Uh, it may it include a shirt. There's a good chance that it will include a shirt and. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. That is to be determined, but I do have an idea of how to give it away. I saw it on Doogie's uh, dugout uh, video. They did a giveaway and they did a duck race and they put all the names in this, this program and there's like this online oh duck race. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And it is like the ones where you at the, you're at the fair and you squirt the gun. Yeah, uh, yeah. The and then water, you turn it over. You, you squirt the water into the little hole uh -huh. and your little thing just goes and goes and goes and it's like back oh, and forth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, it was did so Did you not funny. get any stickers? 
Um, if I did, I just They're blew stuck. right through them. Um, I did not get any stickers. That is very interesting. I got a Bobo. 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 Okay. So no Griff, it looks like, unless he's there. So, Well, folks, thanks for being with us. We appreciate you checking us out. Let us know what you think. Uh, would you have rather had the six packs with O'Neill Cruz and Shane Boz or the Spencer Torkelson um, short print? Well, we have half the box left, too. And we still have half the box left, so there's still some hits out there, I think. So uh, the Mojo Pack didn't have much in there, but uh, let us know what you think between uh, the two. Um, I don't know. It's kind of close because I love Ono Cruz, but this one is kind of the hot commodity right now. So, but cool. this was fun. Yeah, it was so fun. I enjoyed it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. See you then.